Hello everyone, I am here to present a lecture on d orbital splitting in octahedral complex. Suppose in an octahedral complex ML6N plus, the metal ion is surrounded by 6 ligand, that is capital L. Metal ion is present at the center of octahedron. All the 6 ligands are present along the x, y and z axis around the central metal ion. When these ligands move towards the central metal ion, the electrons of the d orbitals of the metal ion get repelled by the negative end of the ligands. The energy of all the 5d orbitals increases due to the repulsion, but the lobes of eg set of orbitals that is dx square y square and dz square orbitals are found in the way of ligands approaching to the metal ion. Hence, repulsion in electrons of eg orbital is greater than electrons of t2g set of orbitals that is dxy, dyz and dxz orbitals. 5d generate orbitals get split into two energy levels due to this phenomena. It means increment in the energy of eg set of orbital is greater than the t2g set of orbitals. Greater the repulsion, greater is the increment in the energy. 5d generate orbitals of the metal ion get split into two sets. It is called crystal field splitting. Energy difference between the t2g and the eg sets of orbital is denoted by del O. O stands for octahedron or d cube. Difference in energy of T2G and EG by ligand is produced due to the difference in the electromagnetic field working on these sides. This energy is called crystal field stabilization energy or crystal field splitting energy also known as CFSE. Each T2G orbital has 0.4 delo less energy as compared to hypothecated degenerate D orbital while each ESD orbital has plus 0.6 delo energy more than hypothecated degenerated d orbital it may easily be calculated by the geometry hence the t2g set there is a decrease in energy of 0.4 delo and in the set there is an increase in energy of 0.6 delo this decrease and increase in energy are shown by minus and plus symbol electron has tendency to go to the lower energy level according to upper rule hence when electrons enter into t2g orbital it emits energy and when it enters into in eg orbital it absorbs energy the total energy released in this way is called crystal field stabilization energy now I will discuss the splitting of d orbitals in tetrahedral complexes. To understand the formation of tetrahedral complex, we assume a tetrahedron in a cube. Here, the metal ion is present on the center of the cube and four ligands are present on the alternative corners of the cube. The lobes of dx square y square and dz square orbital lie along the axis while the lobes of dxy, dyz and dxz orbital lie in the middle of the axis. The d orbitals are not found in the way of the ligands which are approaching from the alternative corners of the cube towards central metal ion. By calculation, we can find that ligands are far away from dx square y square and dz square orbital as compared to dxy dyz and dxz orbital. It means that increase in energy of dxy dyz and dxz orbitals will be more than increase in energy of dx square y square and dz square orbitals. Due to this difference in energy in energy of d orbitals of metal ion gets split into two sets on complex formation energy of dx square y square and dz square that is eg orbitals decreases and energy of dxz dyz and dz x orbital increases this splitting is opposite to the splitting in octahedral complexes hence in this splitting the energy of eg set of orbital is lowered by 6 d cube while the energy of T2G orbitals get increased by 4D cube. It can be determined by geometrical analysis that 8 ligands present in the cube symmetry will produce 8 by 9 field strength in comparison to octahedral field. That is, 10D cube of cubic is equal to 8 upon 9, 10D cube of octahedral. The meaning of tetrahedral geometry is the removal of ligands from the four corners of the cube. Hence, the field strength in tetrahedral geometry will be half of the field strength of the cubic symmetry that is 10 dq of tetrahedral is equal to 1 upon 2 10 dq of cubic is equal to 8 upon 9 into 1 upon 2 into 10 dq of octahedral which is 4 upon 9 10 dq of octahedral in this way during the formation of tetrahedral complex crystal field splitting is approximately half of the crystal field splitting of octahedral geometry that is delta 
of tetrahedral is equal to 4 upon 9 of delta of octahedral.